Island, which is off the coast of Washington Island. And it's a uh, Wisconsin State Park that's wonderful because it has no electricity. And it's just once you're here, it's kind of a very isolated, beautiful place to be. And I've been coming here every year for maybe, um, maybe 16 years. Um, and usually when I come, I like to have some project that I do because I'm sitting in such a beautiful area. And this year, since I got a Blink Grant, I decided to bring the components of the Blink Grant with me and put some together while I'm sitting in this beautiful place. For about two years, I found myself absolutely fascinated with collecting just the faces of flowers. Not the rest of the foliage, but just the faces, sort of like this. You can see it here. Mm -hmm. and I collected hundreds, probably thousands of these images, and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them. But when I was out in San Francisco in February, I kept on seeing they had all these little construction flags that were four by four inches. And I began to imagine my flower faces on those construction flags. And then I got back to Madison, and lo and behold, in May, they began to rip up my street. And my street was full of these little flags. There was um, Madison Gas and Electric, and the water utility, and the sewage system, and everything you can imagine. They had flags all over the place. And every time I walked home, and I kept on seeing these little flags out there, I kept on thinking, they should be more attractive. They should be more colorful. And then I began to think about, well, we're kind of trained to avoid looking at them. I mean, we don't look at these flags because they're all over and they don't have any meaning to us and so we kind of see them as a blight and I began to think no maybe they shouldn't always be a blight maybe they should be something like to delight.